Hey guys, just a quick video today to talk about our most recent dashboard update. So let's take a look here at what's new and we're going to just log in here. And if we head over to router listing, you'll see that there's some new icons and some different things that are available here. So if we take a look here, some of the things that are new are that there's additional info here when you hover on the image. Uh, the favorite icon exists here for the router that you've selected. There's your favorite, which is the one that'll show up uh, for dashboard stats here on your main dashboard. Uh, you'll notice that we've added a little bar here that makes it really easy to pinpoint an exact date and time. Uh, and you'll see over in this section, uh, the, the info about that stream. And then if we head back to router listing, what else is new is that we've added some icons over here. And so the, the view now no longer takes you straight to the live view. Now this opens router health. You'll see we selected router health over here. It takes you right to that router. And then if we want to look at the live view instead of the historical view, you'll notice here that there's live uh, section. So we can hit that and pretty soon we'll start getting bandwidth graphs drawn. And they're a lot more in line with the bandwidth graphs that we also have on the other page. So here's a nice spike. And if we uh, scroll down, we've still got our ability to check on stacked bandwidth and take a look at who's using the network. But this allows you to switch back and forth between live view and historical view real easy. And then historical view also, rather than existing on each of the different parts of this page, um, we can now take a look at the overall router. So CPU, RAM, disk, and bandwidth are now all on day. I can switch for a week and it'll switch the view for all of them at one time and same thing for month and pretty soon to come will be year. So other things that you might notice are new on this page is right here is a more info. And if I click that more info, it's going to talk to the router and load up the dashboard info. So this used to exist on the live router view. Uh, now it's just here on this router info, router health page that is just available to as a, as a drop down to take a look at what are some of those more geeky details on the router. So if we head back to the router list, a couple other things that are adjusted here, you'll see now there's a little uh, icon here that's new. This guy is the open now button from the live router view. Uh, basically we combined live router view and historical router view. So the router view is really just one page now called router health. So we had to land the open now button in place. So this is where the open now button lives and just really easy way if you're on CG NAT or the system can't determine your public IP automatically, this will allow you to open the network of uh, remote winbox to accept connections to your router for the next 10 seconds so that if you're behind uh, you know a CG NAT, carrier grade NAT, maybe you're on your mobile hotspot and you want to be able to get access to Windbox. This button allows you to do that. So for the next 10 seconds, I hit that and now this device is able to be reached uh, and, and I can connect with Windbox over it. And one more detail on things that have changed. Uh, you'll notice over on the side here, we've got a purple person icon. That's where the end user dashboard has moved. And so if I click on that, uh, you'll see I'm brought to the end user view, which allows me to take a look at the end user view or invite users to the end user dashboard. If you haven't seen the end user view, it's just a quick way to invite a user to a read only dashboard that allows them to see their current bandwidth usage, uh, what's going on on the network, what Wi-Fi devices are connected, and just a quick uh, ability to check out what the password and SSID is for the Wi-Fi. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us for what's new this week on Remote Winbox. Have a great day.